Man, it's been a long time in between drinks, but welcome back to the channel. Yeah, been a hot second since I've uploaded, I know, it's wow, but um, as you can see here, created my own dolphin squad using a random number generator. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can beat the 2021 Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs who were the wooden spooners. My team is pretty weak, as I said, created with a number generator. Um, so that means I've got some, I got some good picks. Also got some pretty uh, terrible picks. So as you can see here, we're gonna roll through the lineup here. Had to uh, make do with what I've got in some of the positions, specifically the wings and the halves, but. It is what it is. So, starting it off, we've got AJ Brimson, Matthew Tomoko, Zach Sini in the back three. We've got Paul Sykes and Dane Spencer in as our centers. In the halves, we've got Jock Madden and Jared Summit. That's the um, one, one area of concern for me is the halves. We've got Christian Welsh, who is the captain of the Dolphins. We've got Scott Moore and Daniel Saifidi in the front row. We've also got um, Satili Tupanua, Jaden Sewer, and Liam Martin. And on the bench, we've got Nathaniel Neal, Brad Singleton, Junior Sauer, and Lachlan Tim. Here are the rest of the players. That was selected. Just in case you were curious, I did pick 30 out of the entire um, NRL, Super League, and all the lower leagues. And Bulldogs team, pretty standard for 2021, although I'm pretty sure this is a full-strength lineup. But anyway, let's see what we can do. See if we can beat the Bulldogs. And we're playing at Dolphin Oval here. This is a uh, created stadium by... um. Oh, no, I can't remember the creator's name, sorry, but um, if this is yours, well done. Great um, looking stadium here, as the Bulldogs make their way out to the field, and um, well, even though we are only four points lower than them, I'm, I'm confident we could get the job done, but I feel like there's a small chance that we could get absolutely thrashed. I am pretty rusty on Rugby League Live 4. As such, I'm pretty sure I'm only playing on, like, pro or veteran difficulty at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah. Starting off the match here, we got Avarillo kicking off. And that's gonna go straight to Jock Madden, who passes it to Tupanua. And gets driven back to the 15 meter, to 15 meter mark. Martin to Moore, and Moore is driven back yet again. Looks like we gained it. Absolutely zero ground there. Welsh, we're going to spread it out out wide a little bit just to uh, try to create some space, but it doesn't look like it's happening for us, and Madden gets absolutely poleaxed in that tackle. And we're going to try to kick our way out of trouble with Liam Martin of all people, and it's a hell of a kick. It's going to be a 40-20, and we are going to have an opportunity inside the Bulldogs 20. See if we can convert this into points here as Welch tries to make a bit of post contact meters. I'm gonna try to go out to the left here as Sykes muscles his way forward, but Bulldog's defense is just too good. A sentence that was never said in the 2021 season. Damn, <laughs> that was that was too cold, but um <laughs> Anyway, back to the game here. We're not really doing too much here. The defense is swarming all over us. Got a nice little shape out the left here, but Sykes flat-footed when he uh, caught the ball. And all of a sudden, we're on the last tackle here. Not making too much ground. Pass the ball back to Welsh, who kicks. Tries to kick for himself as Jackson makes a break, but Madden is able to pull him down. Not a bad set, not, not a bad f first two sets for us here, but we're going to have to tr defend our asses off here because we've got like some 50 and 60 overalls in this team. And um, yep, it's really showing here because Will Hopwati has just made a line break here. Off to Katoa. Katoa breaks away from one and gets caught by Moore, but I think he's just 
Oh, I think he's done that animation where he uh, falls on his belly and... Yep, he's done the animation, so that's going to be the first try for the Bulldogs coming through Katoa. Bit of a frustrating one to uh, give away there, but... You know, what can you really do when the animation is against you? Avarillo lining up for his kick. Takes a couple steps out, it looks like he's going to swing it wide and try to... Uh, Bring it back round. And he misses. Yeah, with the chat with the expansion with Dolphins, it's going to be interesting to see what the team's going to look like, how it stacks up. As Waddell makes a line break, and Brimson saves the day 10 metres away from our try line. Oh, don't know how that wasn't a uh, penalty for offside, but you know what? I'm not going to complain too much about it. <laughs> And Welsh just punishes Avarillo. Flanagan with a little grubber kick and Chock Madden gets pushed back into touch. Just need to get something going here. It seems like the Bulldogs have been all over since that. And here we go. I was going to say since that try was scored and Liam Martin gets absolutely coat hanging after a massive run. What a run from Lee and Martin, and we get a penalty on the back of it. Samut, a nice kick, finding the 10 meter line. I actually don't know if I'm saying his last name correctly, so... Yeah, I'm, I do apologize if I'm butchering his last name. As Nathaniel Neal breaks away through some soft defense. And he, with his first touch of the ball, he scores a try. That's going to be an easy six points there. And Tomoko, massive run there. Almost finds the 40. Wow. Looking to, um, off the back of that try from Nathaniel Neal, we're looking to put some more points on the board. Tupanua finds a small gap. Sammet passes it to Sua. Sua is wrapped up 40 meters away from the Bulldogs try line. Martin to Samut again. Brimson is trying to execute some, um, execute like a step or something there, I think, but the pass could be on here if Sykes, no, Sykes gets wrapped up, makes some post contact meters, but it's not going to matter because that's going to be half time. As we head into the sheds, leading the Bulldogs by two points. I wasn't really expecting to be leading the Bulldogs at halftime, let alone the game being this low scoring. Once the Bulldogs scored that first try, I was thinking, oh no, <laughs> all the momentum is against us. But looking at the stats here, it's actually been a pretty even matchup so far. No errors from us, one from the Bulldogs. Let's see if we can keep up this intensity and get that win. Yeah, not much doing in this uh, second half at the moment. Sua with a floating pass and it finds Will Hopawade and we are in trouble pretty much right away as they play the ball and move towards the middle of the field. Marshall King with some post contact meters. He's having a pretty good game is Marshall King finding all the right passes and he's keeping the Bulldogs in it pretty much. Thompson pushing forward just a little bit as well and it's almost panic stations here as Meany almost I think he he had the stepping animation there but was wrapped up almost instantly and Thompson Bustles his way forward over the try line, but flipped on his back and he's held up. Hand over. And Samut passes the ball straight to Corey Waddell, and we're gonna have no choice here. We're gonna have to give the penalty away. Oh man, Avarillo from right in front here. He's not gonna miss this kick. I mean, it's not really the smartest thing to do to give away a penalty like that, but. To be honest, I would have rather them take two points than take another six. Avarillo converts, tying up the game. 
Yeah, we're going to have to fight to win this one, I think, because it's either going to go to golden point or one of us is going to win by one big hit without the ball and Meanie ends up with a line break there. Not exactly how I saw that one happening and Marshall King taking advantage of three defenders being offside. Another line break here and I think the Bulldogs are going to set up for a goal. I think that's Avarillo back there. Gonna have to try to charge down this field goal attempt. And he oh, charged down his unsuccessful Avarillo sinks it. And that's gonna be it. it. What a heartbreaking loss for the Dolphins as the Bulldogs pick up a one-point victory over the expansion club. And man, for my first game back on Rugby League Live 4 in quite some time, I feel like I actually played pretty well there. I was in it until I gave away that penalty. That was a stupid thing to do really as Master King gets man of the match here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see more content, then be sure to drop a like. If you want to see more of this Dolphins team, let me know. Otherwise, have a good one.